People who grew up with strict parents, what was their most unreasonable rule? Have a friend who isn't allowed to go out if he's already had too much fun this weekend. That's the only reason. They think he'll become corrupted if he has too much fun and that he won't know how to work. He's in college. I was not allowed to talk to boys. One Christmas Eve day. I was doing last minute shopping in the downtown of our little town. I ran into two male friends from my German class and we talked for several minutes and wished each other a Merry Christmas. Oh I was 15 at the time. My older sister drove by and saw me. Told my parents I was hanging out with boys. When I walked in the house both my parents were waiting and the yelling began. Some Christmas Eve. I wasn't allowed to say I died on Mario. I lost one of my chances to succeed. I had a ton. I think the most unreasonable was that we, my siblings and I, weren't allowed to know where we were going during car rides. If we'd ask we were told business. And figure it out we were going to the store. Etc. Only after we arrived to our destination. This lasted until I moved out. Another was asking for permission to use the bathroom every time. This didn't last as long. I changed my mind. I guess my parents weren't so bad. Edit. Ro. Went for a hike today out of cell service and returned to 9k karma and 30 plus comments. Since a couple people asked what I was going to say. It sounds pretty lame now compared to the rest of this thread. But I'll explain a few. We weren't allowed to swim in rivers. We were rarely allowed to go to friends houses unless the parents knew each other. We weren't allowed to go anywhere on our own until we could drive, which was 18 for me. And just the usual strict parent pushing to get all A's. No trends. Or passing fads. Pokemon. Band. Barbies. Band. Beanie Babies. Band. PlayStation Gamma Boys. Band. Anything particularly fashionable. Or popular regardless of actual merit was met with derision and we'd be mocked for even suggesting interest. We were achingly frumpy kids with interests and cultural references, or lack thereof, that isolated us from our peers and they wondered why each of us were bullied. I had a friend who wasn't allowed to sit on the couch. No matter the circumstances. That was the first time I realized something was really wrong in his house. The kicker, it was a crappy couch. So it's not like he was going to ruin it. Edit. Responding to a gazillion people at once. To the folks looking for logic. You'll find none. No. The parents weren't saving the couch for company. No. The kids didn't have a history of damaging the couch. No. The kids weren't little troublemakers, they were surprisingly well behaved teens. Surprising because of how they were raised. This is about control. Not logic. Domestic abuse is always about exerting control. Don't let anyone try to convince you otherwise. Even after writing a note about child abuse. I'm still getting jokes about how my friend must be a dog. Thanks. Reddit. For every minute I was late coming in from curfew. I got grounded a week. I once spent 10 weeks grounded due to a sobriety checkpoint. Dad was a narcissist. Biggest rule in the house was not to make any noise around him. If he was home the whole house got quiet and tense. Even my mom used to eat her cereal in the bedroom because she'd get in trouble for chewing crunchy food. Now she's long rid of him and married to a way better guy. But she still apologizes for eating crackers. I wasn't allowed to shrug. Or say I don't know. If anything tech related went wrong. It was assumed that I broke it on purpose. Even if the only reason anyone knew it was broken is because I was trying to fix it. Birthday parties were a no-go. Christmas was a no-go. Any party whatsoever was a no-go. <laughs> I have too many to name growing up in an Asian household but the one that was the most embarrassing was I was not allowed to shave my legs or armpits and I hit puberty at an early age. So I had really hairy armpits and legs and was forced to wear shorts to gym class. I was so embarrassed about my legs that I would wear shorts with opaque pantyhose which just made the whole situation worse and was the butt of many jokes in middle school. My mom has apologized thousands of times since. But it still brings back crappy memories. 
Was forced to drop out of school in the fifth grade because my grandmother believed that most people have no souls and were demon possessed. She said that the world was unsafe to roam freely because Satan was trying to corrupt God's children. This lead to a very sheltered life and very silly things like having to pray over every individual item that entered the house. Food. Toiletries. Dish soap. You name it. I'd get woken up at 2am to be screamed at for 3 plus hours over something God had told her that I did wrong. So yeah. I guess the most unreasonable rule I grew up with was not being allowed to leave the house. Edit. Okay I get it. Apparently my life was binding of Isaac's storyline. <laughs> there were a lot but the most ridiculous one to me was they didn't want me volunteering during high school. I was visiting the elderly and they said it was too dangerous to be around strangers like that and the time was taking away from my studies. Most extracurriculars I wanted to do they had a huge problem with but it didn't hit me how absurd it was until it was about senior citizens. <laughs> Females of the family must cook and clean on holidays while males watch TV. Must bus males plates every night. No visiting friends houses no friends over at our house all the way through high school. Hair cannot be cut at or above shoulder. 7. 0 p.m. bedtime. Not curfew. Bedtime. Through junior high. Strictly enforced. Needless to say. I rebelled strong and hard. <laughs> My parents were pretty slack on everything except one thing. No video games console ever. And no online games on the computer because that's how you get virus and make the computer run slow. So I was playing my morp when they were sleeping. In a hidden file. In a file. In another file. In another file and I was changing the appearance of every file icon. <laughs> we could not listen to music with guitars in it. I will never forget the day my brother was listening to Sabbath Bloody Sabbath and my father took the radio and threw it through the window. Spent my childhood listening to Richard Marx and Michael Bolton. Thanks dad. <laughs> my father was very very strict. I wasn't allowed to have alone time with my mother. He beat the shti out of me constantly. But the oddest thing that still bugs me to this day. Is that he would burn all my things as punishment. And I get it. Seeing my toys and valuables burning sucked. And I probably learned some lessons. But he not only burned toys. He would burn everything. Every year or so for school we would go to Meyer and buy me new school clothes and shoes. He would also burn those. Like sometimes days after he bought them. At 8 years old I remember thinking. You now have to buy me more clothes. But that wasn't the point I suppose. He once took me to the palace of Auburn Hills in Detroit to see the Globe Trotters one year and during the night he bought me a Globe Trotters basketball and jersey. We had a fun night. The very next day. I had left something on the floor in my room and his punishment. Among other things. Was to burn the basketball and jersey he bought for like $150 less than 24 hours earlier. It just never made sense to me. My friends would joke about it all throughout middle and high school. Oh god. I wasn't allowed to go out. Like ever. If I was gonna hang out with someone it had to be on the weekend planned at least a week ahead. And my parents had to meet their parents and drive me there. They would come get me before the sun went down. Not a rule. But if I got up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night or was reading because I couldn't sleep. My mom would come screaming up the stairs why are you up? And sometimes hit me. I wasn't allowed to close the door in my room. There's more but that's what I can think of right now. Mostly my mother would just yell about everything. 30 minutes of internet time a day and 99% of the time. That was supervised, as in mom looking over my shoulder and commenting on conversations. We had webv, rip, and when they weren't home. They would literally lock the keyboard in a toolbox. My sis and I could never have friends stay over because the house is a mess. No amount of cleaning satisfied mom. Because the real reason was she wanted to be able to fight with my dad at will. <laughs> my mom was very strict about the ratings of movies and video games. One year for Christmas a relative gave me a copy of Star Wars. Shadows of the Empire for the Nintendo 64. It was a T-14. Rated game and I wouldn't be turning 13 for another 4 weeks. 
My mom had my dad drive me to Toys R Us to return the game. We walked into the store and over to the games and he had me pick out an E. For everyone. Rated game. We proceeded to check out and as we went to the car he handed me not only the new game but the game we were supposed to have returned to buy it as well and told me not to let her catch me playing it. <laughs> Even if I'm wrong. I'm right. This caused a lot of confusion on my part and rage on theirs. I got my head knocked through a cabinet door for eating a grape wrong. And even more trouble when I cried. Edit. Thanks dude. For the gold. I cheesed too dang hard. In short. Yes I still see my parents regularly. I'm at their house with my daughter. Yes. I've always known they were kinda f ked off in the brain. I've learned to take no shti though. My husband has been there since we were 16. And I attribute my take no shitness to him. <laughs> my mom wouldn't let me have any female friends growing up. Jokes on her. I'm gay. <laughs> Indian parents. I could stay at a sleepover until 2am. But couldn't actually sleep at that person's house lol. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to cross any streets until middle school. Thus. My best friends were the ones who lived on the same block as me. I had a friend who wasn't allowed to say the word stupid. And tried to report me to the teacher when I said it. Teacher yelled at me and then told me it was okay in private and not to say it around that one kid. Nice guy. Though. Just had a helicopter mom. Edit. Thanks for all the support. For anyone who thinks I'm shitting on the guy. Let me remind you he was a very close friend. I eventually caught onto the concept of a helicopter mom thanks to this kid. So I just rolled with all the weird things his mom made him do. I also remember he would complain about the school lunch because it was too unhealthy. <laughs> My stepmom decided that I was using too much shampoo. She would get a little medicine cup before my shower and pour the designated amount into it. It wasn't ever enough because I had hair down to my butt. I also wasn't allowed to use conditioner. Screw her. <laughs> A friend of mine wasn't allowed to wear shorts to school unless it was already over 80 degrees when she had to leave. School started at 7. 40 AM so this almost never happened even on days when it reached over 90 midday. The school didn't have air conditioning. Well. I pretty much couldn't do anything at all. I wasn't even allowed to put posters on my wall. I'm not sure whether it was to protect the wall or some other silly reason. All I wanted to put up was a cute poster of a cuddly seal. So I ended up sticking it behind my door. My dad once told me that he was going to ground me due to my poor performance in school. So I simply responded with. Go ahead. Ground me. It's not like I go anywhere anyway. His dead silence after that was an acknowledgement that he knew I had a point there. My radio was taken away during exams. Because I had to concentrate. The radio helped Emmy concentrate. <laughs> Not my parents. But my high school friend had very strict parents. This was shortly after 9 stroke 11 and the anthrax scare. It was Halloween evening and a group of us were supposed to head out and light fireworks around the neighborhood. Well. My friend wasn't allowed to come out at night because his mom was worried about terrorists bombing our city with anthrax. We live in Canada. <laughs> No TV or rock music. Both were of the devil. I did watch some TV when at a friend's house and I mostly listened to the music I liked but I did miss out on some TV series that my friends talked about. <laughs>